I love entering into the holidays by having a day dedicated to giving thanks. And we Wesleyan sisters and brothers have so much for which to be thankful for this year. The Holy Spirit is active. A noticeable number of our students at our college campuses are being converted and baptized. I love this. During one of our school's Board of Trustees meetings, a report was made that 40 students had been converted that semester. Awesome. But when the board convened the next morning, the number had increased by four more. Thanks be to God for lives being made new. And I was privileged to attend an event connected with the Christian Community Development Association. My daughter was with me. That was special. And she and I, as you do in those settings, got acquainted with some of the attendees. We were awed by the stories three women shared. Two of them had been trafficked, and the third had helped them find their release. One of the trafficked women spoke of having lost custody of her children, but eventually being reunited with them because of the new life changes she had made. These are incredible stories of darkness and hopelessness, but ending with testimonies of light and hope. Thanks be to God for people of courage. The Wesleyan Church exists to be a transforming presence in lives, churches, and communities through the hope and holiness of Jesus Christ. And we have been a presence this year reaching out to individuals, communities, discipling new believers, multiplying new churches, educating students, and providing relief to natural disaster victims and prayer coverage during times of fear. And yet, we have a gospel gap that needs filling. People around us need Jesus. Thank you for seeing, listening, serving in your context. Every effort has an eternal consequence. My thanks for you and for all that God is doing through you is not limited to one day. My gratitude is overflowing and I pray for you and for the fulfillment of our mission. And I'm confident in our God and in you, God's faithful people. Thanks be to God for the hope that is ours through Jesus Christ.